calculating RTH value as an alternative to the previous one. In the previous one, um, we have used a short circuit method. Now we are going to use, we are going to introduce completely new calculation methods. So for the VTH calculation, there is one method. For the RTH, there are two alternatives that we could use. I will show you the second one in here. We are going to deactivate the independent sources within the circuit. What happens on the left hand side, let's examine it, find out the rule and then apply it to the second one. So as we have done in the previous ones. Let's do it now. We are saying deactivate. Let me write what I said here. Deactivate. Independent. sources. We've got one independent source here. We're going to deactivate this. Deactivation, as we know, make that VTH equal to zero. If there is an independent current source, we're going to make that IS is equal to zero. That is, current source, open circuit, voltage source, short circuit. So in our case, we are going to make a short circuit. So if you do the short circuit, what happens? Let me draw it here. So this is short circuited independent voltage source. So we've got RTH here. And we are saying to the A and B terminals, if we apply a test independent source that is V T and find out that IT current here. So if I have an independent voltage source here V T and calculate the IT current means RTH is equal V T over IT. Why is that? Because this voltage is the voltage of that resistor. So if you put the resistor here, this current direction fits in the uh, passive sign convention rule. So that means you can use the definition relation. That definition relation tells me this. So that means when you calculate that IT somehow in terms of VT, then you can find out RTH. RTH. That's the rule. When we are going to do it, we are going to do this after the deactivation of the independent sources. So let's apply what we said here to this circuit. So we are going to apply, we are going, we are going to make this one short circuit and put a VT here and find out the IT. Let me redraw that circuit now. So it's going to be short circuit that independent voltage source and this 10K and this dependent source here, dependent voltage source, voltage controlled voltage source, and this is 3V, that's plus, minus, and in here I've got, oh sorry, so I draw independent current source instead of dependent. So I'm going to redraw it. We are going to apply independent voltage source, Vt, and find out that it. So what I said here, I am repeating here. So I am going to calculate that it here in terms of Vt, then 
IT, I'm going to calculate in terms of VT. That means it's something that I'm going to find out this. That is according to here. It says 1 over RTH, isn't it? RTH times IT gives you VT. RTH times IT gives you VT. So that means in here, the problem now reduced to finding out that IT in terms of VT in this circuit. So let me change the color and see the calculation now. So that if you write the crucial part of equations for this node, once again, when we are saying that you're going, if you're going to calculate one variable within a circuit, you don't have to apply the node voltage or mesh current method to find out. Because these methods are used for the calculation of all the elements, current and voltages within a circuit. Okay. So for this note, if I write the Kirchhoff current law equations, this is downwards direction. This uh, resistor, which is the 3K, resistor resistance value 3K, and this current is downwards. If we use that V uh, voltage reference, according to passive sign convention, the current is downwards. So that IT current here, towards the node is going to be minus, put it on the other side of the equation, then equal to coming out of coming out of the node, that's why 10i plus uh, Vt over 3k. What is this? This is Vt is the voltage of that resistor at the same time. Voltage is known, divided to K gives you that current here. So that is this current. So what I've got in that equation is that I. If I get rid of this I, or if I write the I in terms of Vt, then I can find the, what I said here. So how I am going to calculate the I, come back here now. So if we've got a Looper. Let me write this Kirchhoff voltage law equation for this loop. So we choose the direction like that. And this I is like that, isn't it? That is the I here. So direction is the same. So 3V. V is the voltage of that resistance. This resistance voltage I know VT. So that is. 3VT, that is, the voltage of this element. So, so I am talking about just something happened now. Don't worry. So voltage of this element is 3VT. And same direction, the plus the voltage of this resistor is 10K times that I. So voltage of this one plus the voltage of this one equal to zero. Kirchhoff voltage law equation make it zero. From this, I can say that I E is equal uh, minus three V T over K. Ten I equal to this, isn't it? From this equation, I wrote that. So if you replace the 10i to, with this one, what we get here, it, 10i is minus 3vt over k plus vt over 3k. So if you calculate this, this is going to be in this form, i1, vt. And that is 1 over RT. So if you do this calculation, VT becomes, as we already find, minus 375 resistance value. This is the one that we have found by using the uh, first method. So that's the end of this video then.